exercises while using the vacuum bell. So are there any exercises that you can do while using a vacuum bell? The answer is yes. And a lot of it is stretching. But you should focus on not letting the vacuum bell get off your chest, which um, depending on how you put it, how you wear it, it, it might go off, it might get off. But yeah, you can stimulate your bones and cartilages using a vacuum bell while doing exercises. And one of them is simply taking out the breath, your breath <laughs> while using, while wearing the vacuum bell of, at a pressure of um, 100 mmHg to 150, maybe less. It will depend on how flexible your pectus is, your rib cage is. But you're wearing the vacuum bell and you take all the air out and do something like the cat stretch. You know how cats stretch themselves? It's something like that, okay? But a little bit different. You should stretch yourself in a way that you will stimulate your sternum and cartilages. And while you're doing that, you will feel that it is stimulating. And that's simply what you want to do. So yeah, there are some exercises that you can do. And I'm going to make a video about this right now. Okay, so my vacuum bell is up, a little bit up, 100 mmHg of pressure, of vacuum pressure. And what you can simply do is take your arm out and stretch. You're going to freaking feel, you're going to freaking feel everything pulling it. your back as well. And that's what you want to feel. And you can do that laying down on the bed what you want to do is stretch so you want this straight and bent as much as possible air out of your chest okay out of your lungs and you're gonna freaking feel everything here now there are a couple ways of doing this there are variations you can try you can move yourself you can use this logic okay taking the breath out of your lungs and bending your body, okay, stretching like a cat. And you can try some variations and when you feel this region, when you start feeling things moving and pressures where the vacuum bell is, that's when you're stimulating your bones and cartilages and you want that stimulus. That's something you want every single day. So yes, you can do some exercises. There are uh, some other exercises you can do, but stretching are great exercises to do while using the vacuum bell. Stretching would be less effective without a vacuum bell. So if you have one, do them together. So that's the video for today. Please leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to say anything. See you in the next video.